Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Crater Lake where we are going to be working on our transportation system. And so the reason we're going to be doing this is because we recently invested so much into our new BRT system. And if anybody missed the that episode, it was actually really fun. It was a lot of information. Um, I kind of wish I would have done it over two episodes, but basically we put a bunch of these uh, stations scattered throughout the city with an elevated busway going through, and I thought it was just fantastic. And I had received a string of comments from JMWZ talking about how we should redo a lot of our transportation network, and it really got me thinking. And, and so I did want to give a quick shout out to City Planner Plays because he recently did a whole transportation overhaul. And I had uh, watched those episodes and I, you know, I definitely learned a lot. And so I'm really appreciative of everything that he does. And, and I felt like it was just appropriate to mention it because um, he gave me the idea to basically overhaul the whole system. Initially, I was just going to uh, delete some of the systems. And so go ahead and jump into CSL map view. All right. And so here is our lovely city of Crater Lake. And as you can see, it is, it's pretty big. It's a big city. Um, I really like the patterns that we have in the city, um, like this whole squared section right here. I think it just looks really cool. And so basically all the black lines are train lines and anybody who's been watching the series knows that uh, we really don't have a lot of train. We just have cargo. So we have one cargo there, 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 one over here and one over there. But then we also have a multi-platform end station, which is a passenger rail. And this is where we get all of our inner city train. And then we do have another train, uh, train stop over here that also does accept inner city train. And the reason why we had split them was because we were starting to have a lot of traffic with our cargo. And so... I felt like just turning it this way and having it follow this couplet and then creating another station over there was going to be a good idea. Um, it also provides an opportunity for us to expand it if we decide to, like say, as we expand over here, maybe we'll uh, expand the passenger rail and we can just keep it separated. Not really sure if we're going to do that, but it's a good idea if we do decide to uh, go that way. Um, and so all this like blue kind of checkered is our metro and our tram. And so it is kind of intermingled and you can see that most of our city is pretty well covered. So one of the things that I really enjoy about this city is how pretty much through every phase I try to prioritize transit. And so as a result, we have a lot of transit centers. So we have one right there, two, three. We have a small one right here, so four. Small one right there, five. We have a pretty big one right here, six. A pretty big one right here, seven. A pretty big one right here, eight. And then I believe that is it. And so the goal is for us to use our BRT network, which is kind of hard to see on here, but it's this dark black kind of line running through here. Bus, bus systems on here aren't really that great. And this the line right here is our cable car. Um, so our BRT goes right here, comes down another station right there, comes all the way down here goes back elevated right here, comes down and then loops over here and then follows our metro line all the way over here and then comes into our business district over here and then ends up turning and comes all the way back. And so the idea is for us to eliminate any of our tram lines or bus lines that have a destination of bus station to bus station. So we don't want any transit options from terminal to terminal other than metro or BRT. And the reason for that is because those systems are better optimized for long distance travel. They don't have to stop at lights. The only thing they have to stop for is other stops. And so we want to try to create a tram network and a local bus network that is going to complement our, tra our transit hubs. And so one of the things we're gonna try to do and one of the things that I have prioritized within the city is to create bus lines and train lines that are only on main routes. And so we do want to provide access through most of the city. And it actually looks like this area is really the only area that's underserved. And so we are going to keep most of our tram lines and bus lines within our main collector routes. And so I think we are going to go through and pretty much delete everything and then we'll start fresh. I think it's gonna be really good. And so let's go ahead and jump back into the game. All right, and so here we are. And so let's go ahead and this is kind of crazy. We're gonna pretty much delete everything, including our BRT networks. Um, and so, except for the Metro, we're not, we're not deleting the Metro. So we're gonna go into trams and we're gonna come up here, go like this. And is this tram? Eve it is, yeah, it is, so tram. And so before we delete them all, I did wanna look at our ridership for our overall transportation system right now. So right now we have about 6,000 per week with 3,000 in tourists. So that's about 9,000 per week. And then let's go ahead and look at the budget as well. So let's jump out of here. So our overall transportation budget is sitting at 45,000 right now, which is actually pretty high. And we keep kind of bouncing up and down between being in the red or being positive. And so 
we want to try to beat those numbers. So 45,000 and then 9,000 in total transit uh, ridership, which is, I mean, still pretty good. We're, our city's at 110,000. So having 9,000 people per week ride our transit network is not bad, about like 10%, a little lower than 10%. And so now what we're gonna do is jump in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of our tram lines and all of our bus lines. Okay, so all of our tram and bus deleted. And just for fun, I wanna see if this uh, really tanks our uh, traffic. I wanna make sure that we have despawning off. So right now it's at 84. I went ahead and had to uh, uncheck this because of our trams, but I do want to do this test to see if we get really bad. We still have really good path networks throughout here, so I'm pretty confident that we're not gonna just tank. There are certain areas in here that it will probably do worse off, but not having all the trams on the road should actually kind of help. Our trams are really extensive. We had a lot of tram lines. I think we had like 30 lines or something like that. And so I'm just going to let this run real quick, kind of balance out, um, have this drop down, and then we will see uh, where it goes from there. So I think, yeah, even this, I want to see this drop down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let it run for a minute. Okay, so I let it run for a while, and it actually took a while for uh, all the trams to go back to the tram deep over here. There was like a huge line of them, um, but we're actually at the same point for traffic wise, and we still have them um, despawning off. I did um, have to turn it on for a little while just to get rid of some of the trams, but then I uh, turned it back on and I let it run for a little while. And so um, it's kind of funny. I mean, our, our traffic actually has gone up a little bit and it, it's probably just because of all the trams. You know, the trams can cause some um, huge traffic jams like over here. This intersection was a really bad one. And and now all of a sudden it's really not that bad because all those trams aren't having to cross over the lanes and, and all that stuff. And so this is definitely something that we want to keep in mind. And so let's go ahead and start figuring out what we're going to do. So the goal is to have our Metro and our BRT be the main spines of our transit network. And so any of these smaller transit hubs, we want to service the local areas. And so we want to make sure that our BRT or our local area is connected to each other in a way that is gonna make sense. And we may even expand our Metro line a little bit just to uh, get our spine out a little bit further. And so, all right, and so the goal with the BRT network is to have one high speed one that's gonna actually go all the way around the city as quickly as possible. And any of these smaller, smaller turns like the airport terminal or this industrial terminal or the government district terminal will actually be serviced by a separate line that is going to go into the offshoots. Um, and the reason for that is because we want to provide a couple different avenues for people who either want to go to a specific destination or want to go somewhere further along in the city. And so I'm gonna go ahead and draw in both of them real quick and then we'll talk about it when it's done. Okay, so now we have a BRT network that runs all the way around the city, comes up over here, goes into our tourism area, comes up over here, passes the airport, goes through our business district, comes back over here by the stadium and then cuts up here and ends right there. And so now what we want to do is expand upon our BRT network to provide a little better access to the localized areas. And so now what we're going to do, we have another BRT line that runs down here and a BRT line that runs across here. And so we want to connect that up and provide some much needed access. And so what I want to do is create a line that's going to come down here, turn this way, go down to the stop and then turn around, come back and then come up here and then go back and terminate. And the reason we're doing that is because it is going to provide nice transfer access for anybody who wants to come into this area or go to our main transit hub in our Midtown area. And then it's also going to help us to expand upon our hub and spoke network. So this will have access to our BRT network now. And so we'll be able to expand upon trams and everything. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it done real quick. And then we'll talk about it when I'm done. OK, so I went ahead and threw it in there. And so I have it coming starting right here with our other BRT line. So people would be able to transfer. But then it cuts down here past our BRT bus depot and then has a stop right there and then turns down stop right there stop right there stop right there and then comes up here to our main transit hub but then it comes down this road and then stops in front of this small transit hub again another great transfer opportunity for our other brt network but then comes back onto the brt line comes back up here and then loops back stop 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 comes back up here stop again and then terminates right there and so I think this is a great line for us to supplement this area. And I really feel like this is going to help to uh, transfer people around the city as quickly as possible. OK, and so now what we're going to do is do a separate BRT line that's going to run across the main line, but it is going to include all of our little spurs. So the airport, the industrial area, the government district, and then we'll probably even create a couple other little areas where 
it can kind of spur out, maybe connect to a transit hub like I know over here. So we have a line right here. We could have this branch off and come this way maybe, maybe come this way and then do a stop right there. I feel like that would be great. I'm actually gonna go ahead and draw that in real quick and I'm gonna put a stop right there. Okay, so I went ahead and built out this spur and I put it right next to this transit hub and I think this is gonna be such a great location. So now basically the idea is we'll be able to attach up our tram lines and have them service this local area. But then if anybody wants to transfer to maybe go somewhere further off in the city, then the station is right here. And we do also have a bus station right here as well. So we're going to be doing an inner city bus right here. And so people could come into the city and then get onto the BRT network and realistically get anywhere else in the city. And so I think this can be great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do another loop all the way around. But I'm going to have that line connect up to all of our little spur segments. So I'm going to have it come over here I'm going to have it go to the airport. I'm going to have it go to our industrial area. I'm going to have it go to our capital district. And then I'm going to have it go to our university and I'm going to do both directions as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. OK, and so I drew it all the way around. And so now what I want to do is jump into our BRT network in here and we are going to change the colors. And I believe this was a weird one that we had started. So our first two are the loops all the way around. So if we go ahead and turn all those off. So this one goes literally all the way around. Let's make sure. Yeah, so it comes down here, loops through there, comes down here. Yeah, so perfect. So we'll actually keep these two blue, but we're going to do BRT Express for both of them. And there we go. And so the third one is our is the line that cuts through the middle that actually attaches to our main transit hub right here and then connects up these residential areas. And then it also has a transfer with our main B BRT network up here. And so I think we're gonna go green and we are going to go ahead and turn all these back on and we're gonna do BRT localized route. And then for the ones that we just did with the spur lines, what we're gonna do is make them both white. We're gonna name them BRT spur line. And there we go. So now we have BRT express one and two, BRT local route, which goes to our main transit hub but then BRT spur line one and two. And so I think this is really good connectivity to start. I do need to adjust something real quick here though. So I need to come in here and I believe it was, yeah, this one right here. So we need to grab this and it was kind of giving me a hard time giving, setting up both these lines. So I want that to go like that. And so let's go ahead and unpause and let these lines populate real quick because I don't want to do it all at once. You end up getting a ton of buses and trams all at once and it's just kind of a mess. Okay, so buses are coming out and I just remembered, so I want to switch these over to the super bendy buses just because this is gonna be our BRT line and the 30 uh, passenger limit for the regular buses is definitely gonna be a problem. We wouldn't want people to miss the bus because there wasn't enough room. And so those are gonna switch out. Now let's go ahead and jump into these and see if we have any crazy amounts of people. So we don't, I mean, none of them are really, really crazy right now, but they're definitely getting some people there, which is good. So let's actually jump back into this other express route. Uh, you know, again, not, not too bad. And so let's jump into our local route now. So we're gonna come down here. This one actually looks like it's potentially the busiest so far. We have 25, I'm guessing that's probably our main hub right there. And then let's jump into our spur lines. So we come over here. Oh, this one's got people waiting too. Um, once we let this run for a minute, once we connect it up with our tram lines, it's really going to change everything. And so now let's jump into our tram lines and see how we can work on these areas. And so, okay. And so the first thing we want to do is hook up our tram lines. And so I think we are going to jump in here and I was looking at this area and I think we are going to expand out this tram network right here. And I actually want to use a tram line that has biking access to. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade over to this tram road that has bike lanes, which I think is fantastic because if we can really focus on just overall maneuverability while we're here, I feel like the whole city will be better for it. This is going to help connect up the tram line to the line up here so that now we can do a full loop of this area, which is really gonna help out a lot. So now if we jump back in here, go into our transit tab. So now we have a tram line that goes all the way around here that I think is just gonna be fantastic. And we could even connect it up over here too, which I think would be good, but. I don't think it's the end of the world. We do have a, a route going through here. And so because we have the BRT line down here, this is all like pretty close walking distance. Like from here to over there would maybe be like a five minute walk. And so I don't really think adding in any sort of other bus line in here would be good. And so I think this is gonna be good. Let's go ahead and jump in here now and let's go to trams. And I wanna do one loop around. So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna come this way. We're gonna do a stop right there. And we'll come down here, stop right there. 
And we don't want the stops to be too close. This The distances in this game are a little off, but like these two stops right here would literally be like a two minute walk from each other. And so that's even a little excessive, but we want to make sure that we have um, some nice access. So we're going to come up here and we're going to loop around. And I think we will just connect it up right there and call it done. It does look like it needs to turn up here. So we're going to go ahead and connect it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one going the opposite direction now. Perfect. And so now we have our first main tram lines going through here. And I think this is going to be fantastic. And we did have a tram line that looped around here. I just don't know, like with this transit hub right here, this would be just in such a close walking distance for pretty much anybody in this area that I think having a line going all the way around would be kind of redundant. All right, so now what we're gonna do is have a line start right here, come all the way down here, go down this road, loop around, stop at our stadium transit hub right here, turn down and then stop at our park, celebration park, transit hub right there and then come back and I'm going to go ahead and do them going both directions. Okay so now we have provided access to this loop and we have provided access to the greater loop as well as these other two small transit hubs to the large transit hub and so I think this is just going to be fantastic. And so we do have a line leading down here. This was a line with intentions of connecting up to this transit hub. Because we have the metro line though we really wouldn't want people to use the trams for long distance and so I don't think we're going to connect that up. One line though that I think we will connect up because we don't have BRT access though is from the transit hub over here to over here because right now we don't have a metro line or a tram line going over there though I think we have a pretty good opportunity to maybe expand our metro line. We could have this metro line come up here go between the couplets and then connect up with that line right there. I actually feel like that would probably be a really good bet because then we could just have this uh, tram line this trans hub, tram hub circle this area and then we could just downgrade this to a regular bike lane road. I feel like that would actually probably be the better bet. All right, so we are going to expand our metro line. We're going to jump in here. I'm going to jump over to our tracks. And what I'm going to do is have this branch off here and probably go into a tunnel following this couplet and then come up over here and then connect up to this station right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get it done real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and drew it in. It goes underneath the mountain, but then I created double-sided access for our, our uh, train hub over here. And then I think what we're gonna do is just do a loop around. So we are going to have it start up here. We're gonna have it come down here to our, our end of platform train station, since that's really where a lot of people are coming in from the city. But then we are going to connect it up over here, and then we are going to bring it back and then complete Nice. And so now we have created a nice transfer route for people. So now if anybody's over here and they want to get up here, they can. Or if anybody's at the train station, they want to get to our tech downtown, they can. And we did it without creating another huge loop. And so um, we don't have a ton of redundant lines, which is really what I was trying to avoid there. And so I think we could actually add in another little access point over here, because then that would actually provide some really good um, access for these people. And so I think what we're going to do is add in a little stop right here we could do a road and then do one of the over road uh, metro stations that we got in the bridges and piers if we did this one i'm gonna go ahead and draw that in real quick and see if i can get it in okay so i went ahead and threw in the station and so now we will be able to add in a couple more stops which i think is just fantastic and it's really going to help out this area a ton i did end up having to delete this connection over here just to get the tunnel and the grade in at a more realistic height than i think we'll even grab this and bring it back a little bit. So if we go to underground, grab this, bring it back just a smidge, go like that, and then go back above ground, get out of underground view and just bring this back. Cause then it just allows us to have a little bit better of an angle on this. Cause I think it was like a pretty steep grade. I mean, 5.9, it's definitely pretty big. That's like a 10% grade but it's not a, like a cliff. So I think it's definitely passable. And so now we have a nice even transition that's not too steep and I went into node control and turned those into slope segments but now we have connected up this area which I think is fantastic there isn't a ton of pedestrian access up here they definitely would have to walk around but I feel like just having this access here would be fantastic looks like people are already using the station too and so now all we need to do is create a small tram line for this and then we can downgrade that road to a bike road which I think it might even have bike access yeah it does and so I think that's really good we're we're definitely humming along I think for this area over here, we might even be good. So we have this followed by tram. We have this with the BRT. We have this whole area with tram. And then this is connected to the metro. The metro's right there, which is in close walking distance to our transit hub right here. And then this is connected up. 
I think this is really good. We uh, definitely got a lot of access. So we have stops all through here, stops in there. And so I think we can downgrade this road too. I don't think we need it. And so let's actually see if we got a bike road in there now. Yeah, so let's actually turn that into a bike road. So we're going to come in here and I'm going to upgrade to a four lane. And we'll keep the six lane since it has six. So I'm going to upgrade this whole road going all the way down to a six lane with bike lanes. Nice. And so now we have upgraded our bike access, which is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and remove that zoning off that roundabout. And so that should hopefully get more people to start biking, which I think is great. Though the tunnel pieces don't have biking access for some for some reason. I thought that they did. No, they don't. So the bikes just got to get on the sidewalk for the tunnel piece, which isn't the end of the world. But we also get rid of those, uh, those tram roads. I think those are more expensive. So if we come in here, this is 80 cents a cell. So if we come over here, this is 101.36. So 136 a week a cell. So yeah, we're definitely saving money on roads too, which is fantastic. And so for this section, because there's residential and then because of a future expansion right here, I think what we're gonna do, we have a small little mini transit hub that I'd forgotten over here. So what we're gonna do is have this loop around, then come down here and complete it, this transit hub, and then come back. I feel like it's going to really provide some much needed access for this area as well, just so that we can get the local traffic to uh, take the metro or to come down here and, and transfer over to the metro or the train station. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw those in real quick. OK, so I went ahead and drew it in and it's kind of funny because of how it's laid out with the couplet up here. What I did was I connected this terminal up, had it stop a few times around this residential area, went into our small transit hub and then looped around here stopped up by our metro stop, came up here, stopped over here at this transit hub, and then looped back. And so now we've provided some really good access for this area. And so now before we move on, let's go ahead and jump into our trams and see what we got going. So our tram line one and tram line two. So if we turn this off, so tram line one is the loop down below. Tram line two is the bigger loop. So what we're going to do, I believe, yeah, where's tram line two? Oh, so they're actually just the opposite direction. So we're going to keep those purple and I'm going to go ahead and name them tourism line one and two. All right, there we go. So I named them tourism beach one and two. And so three is, I believe, yeah. So three and four are our loops around this whole section. So we are going to name the celebration park one and two. And there we go. And so tram line five is the one that we just did. So we're going to do lab loop. I think that's good since it's right next to our uh, our national lab. So yeah, we'll just put national lab loop. Since I'm guessing people who live in this area maybe work at the lab too. And so I think that's pretty good. We'll change these colors to green and then we'll change the lab loop to, uh, we'll do orange. I think orange is good. We can go ahead and turn all these back on now. And then we will come back and check out the vehicles in just a minute. And so what I want to do over here is create a little loop. We have one, two, three, three extra spaces. So I want to do one loop all the way around and we're going to do both directions and we want to make sure to stop over by this train station. So I'm going to go ahead and draw those in real quick. Okay, so I got two loops in here. And so what we're going to do with this is Tech Downtown Loop 1 and 2. Perfect. And so when looking at this area, we do have some more access. All right, so for the other spaces, what I'm thinking is we're going to have it start right here and actually come down here next to our metro station and our BRT stop. But then we're going to come down here and loop around the university so that again, there will be transfer access access for the BRT line and the Metro lines, but then we're going to loop back, come down this direction and then come up here and provide access to these neighborhoods since they don't have any other forms of transportation. Um, I wanted to create a line in here, but we have one of our ground pieces for the BRT line come in here. And so we're not able to put in a tram line. I was like, man, that would have been such a perfect little spot, but this is going to be one of the bigger uh, tram lines. And it's just because a, the university, and then B, these neighborhoods right here. And there's really just not a whole lot we can do um, to combat that. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it done real quick. Okay. And so I looped that all the way around and we are going to name that tech to university loop one and two. All right. And there we go. And so we want to change some of these colors. So we got green, orange, purple. Let's go ahead and make this red. So we're going to do two reds for our tourism beach. We'll go up here, go to red. And then for tech and uni, let's go ahead and do light blue. I feel like that would be good. Yeah, we'll go like that. Perfect. And so let's go ahead and look at this area now. I feel like we got pretty good coverage and we definitely have a few more lanes. I just, when we first started doing out the, the tram networks, I was planning on the tram network being the spine for the entire city. And so now with us changing it, it's kind of uh, 
throwing a curveball in there. All right, so for this area, we already have a ton of access. We have a BRT station right, the, right there, BRT and Metro right there, BRT right there, BRT right there, Metro and Metro, as well as a Spur BRT right there. And so I think what we're going to do is just add in a small bus shuttle service over here to provide a little bit of access for this neighborhood. So I'm going to go ahead and do a line going both directions real quick. Okay, and so I provided a loop going all the way around this intersection. You can kind of see we already had uh, somebody upgrading there. And so now everybody within here would have access to the BRT network without having to walk, which I think is just fantastic. And so let's actually jump in there now. And it is seven and eight. Let's change these colors to yellow for both of them. And then I'm going to name them master plan one and two. And so now we have some awesome access over here. And I feel like this whole section is pretty good. There are some spots in the middle, but this is a huge industrial area and it's still not a really far walk from any of our BRTs or anything like that. Um, this is an industrial area over here and we do have a BRT stop in the middle. So I feel like that's pretty good. We can go ahead and start working on the heart of this area. So we did have a ton of lines running through here and we do have a lot of access over here. So let's see. So we have four lanes. So we have eight total spots that we could use in here. So let's jump into trams. And the first thing I want to do is create a loop going this way. So we're going to have it come down here and then cut above, go into our tunnel and then turn up here and then loop around. And we're going to go ahead and do that both directions. And so I'm going to draw that in real quick. So now we have access going all the way around here. So this area is covered. I would like to cover this area now. So I think we have some connections to the above ground. I believe because I know this is a tunnel piece and that's a tunnel piece. I wonder if we could loop this around and have it connect up over here. I think that would actually be good. So if we have one line come up here, go into the tunnel piece, connect up to our airport and come out here and service down here. We could also have it come up here and just kind of loop around and connect up this area because there is an above ground line there too. And having access right here would be fantastic, especially since I created a little transit hub right here. So we would want some tram access right here. So we want some trams running through here and they connect up over here, but well, they connect up to the station. So we could actually have this come over here and then loop over here. We don't really need access right there because we have the Metro line, but it's really not that close. So but we're going to go ahead and do a loop right there. And then we're going to do a loop all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and draw those in real quick. Okay. And so now we have a loop coming all this way, going all the way through to the airport, going both directions. And then I had one go from our celebration park all the way down through this middle section, providing access for this neighborhood all the way to our hub. So I'm going to go ahead and name this one celebration to main hub. And then I'm going to name this one main to airport one and two. Okay. So we got those in and I feel like that's some really good access now. So we do have a line that comes down here as well. It's definitely a redundant line because we have Metro access and now BRT. So the BRT picks up over here, has a spur line over here and right there but we don't have any access actually for this area other than the metros down here and the small tram stop right there so i think if we do a line from right here coming up here then we can do stops around this edge and it's actually going to provide some access for this area and then we'll have it terminate over here and i'll have it um loop back okay and so we have the loop in and so i think i'm going to name this one main to capital hub loop okay so now i think we have some great access down here the only lines left we need to do over here is from right here going all the way around here to our little transit hub and then coming back and i think we're going to do both directions and so i'm going to go ahead and draw those in and there we go and so i'm going to go ahead and name this uh, olympic stadium one and two nice and so now i think we have some great access over here we do have a tram line that comes down here as well i just think with the metro coming over here we don't really need that access anymore we could upgrade this to a bike lane road. I feel like that would be great. Let's see. Let's make sure that no trams are using that road first. I know buses are, but I don't think any trams are. No, we're actually good. So we can upgrade that to a six lane road with bike access. And this is actually going to be fantastic for this area because we've had some really big problems with traffic on this road. And so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Nice. And so I upgraded it going all the way down to this road since we do have a tram network over here, but it doesn't come into this area. And so now let's look at our transit lines and see what we're looking at. So we have coverage coming all the way here. We got our BRT line coming across the freeway and we've really got a ton of connections. So we have a connection coming from our airport too. So our airport now has connection to Metro and tram. 
And so I feel like this is really good. We even got this line coming over here and providing access back here. And so now let's jump back here and see what we can do. So the most obvious is creating a loop that comes all the way around and then stopping at our transit hub. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And there we go. And so I'm gonna name that Uptown Loop 1 and 2. Okay, and so now we have some good access over here. We have Metro on the front side, BRT running through the middle, and then a tram line running across. I do wanna do our bus express routes over here. Again, I feel like that's gonna be some really good access for this area. We do have a BRT line and a Metro line, but we have no access to our Hilltop Resort back here or to the Capitol buildings, and so I think what I'm gonna do is have it start at our bus station, come down here, loop over here, give access to the Metro stop, and then come up over here, loop in the back, and then complete, and then we'll do one going the opposite direction, give access to the BRT line, and then come up here and complete. And so I'm gonna go ahead and draw those in real quick, and there we go. And so I will jump in here, go to our newest lines, so bus line nine and 10, and let's change these to we'll go purple, why not? And then I'm gonna do capital loop one and two. Nice, and so now we have access over here, which I think is fantastic. And so we have access down here as well. These areas are definitely a little bit far, but they're still within a pretty decent little walking distance. We could do a little shuttle bus through here. Maybe we'll actually do that. We'll just do a small little bus line going both directions to make sure that people actually use the tram line. So if we come in here, go like that, and then loop up over here, and then come over here, and then connect up, and then I'm gonna do one going the opposite direction as well. And we're gonna really drop this one down. I don't expect it to get a ton of use out of it. We just really wanna make sure that nobody's driving in here when they don't have to. There's a, there's a tram line to our BRT network or our Metro, and so this definitely should help out a little bit. And so this area has great coverage. We have a little bit of a lapse in here. It would probably be good if we just had like one bus line running through the middle just to provide a little better access to our BRT network or our Metro. But let's go ahead and jump in and see if people are walking. So let's see how many people. So there's actually a decent amount of people walking. It's not like tons, but there are people walking. There's not a lot of traffic though either, which is good. And this line is our industrial line, so I don't know if we'd really want to mess with that too much. But I do want to make sure that we have access over here. Yeah, so we have a crossing. So we have that. Do we have any? Yeah, we have access in there. Perfect. And so let's jump back in there now and see what we're looking at. So the airport has access. This area has access. We could do a little bus line back here. Now, I mean, they're within walking distance of either this tram line or that hub, which I think is great. These people all have access right here. This whole area has access through the tram line or the metro hub. This area has a ton of tram lines going through here all the way to our main hub, as well as metro lines. This area is not that great. I mean, we have the cable car access that comes down here, which does provide transfer access to our metro hubs. But then it also has this tram line, which does provide access to these transit hubs to our metro connections and also to BRT down here. I mean, I really feel like we did a lot and we, we definitely cut down on a lot of lines that were unnecessary. And so now let's actually, let's let it run for a bit. So right now we're at about where we were before, actually a little under, cause we were at 9,000. So we're at 5,164 per week in residents and then 3,000 per week in tourists. And so we are a little bit down which means that we may still have some loops in here that we need to connect up. Let's go ahead and check out our transit lines and see if we have any like crazy ones with a ton of vehicles and stuff. So BRT Express 1, it actually looks like a lot of people are using this, which is great. So we do have a lot of buses and they seem to be pretty bunched up. Because we're using the super bendy bus, we're not really filling them up all the time. So I think we can actually drop this down to 23 and it would just provide just allow them to go a little bit faster rather than getting stuck behind all these buses. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the other one as well, BRT1, yeah, 31. We just don't need 31 buses on there. So we're gonna go down to 23. Yeah, there we go. And so we'll let that run for a minute and hopefully that increases our speed a little bit on it. So it does look like our BRT spur line is doing pretty good too, which is fantastic. It has 41 buses though, which is way overkill. So we're actually gonna drop this one down to 20 since I believe this line should be a little under our main line, um, but we'll kind of see as we expand out more. I don't see any of these buses full, except for maybe the odd one. All right, and so let's jump back in here. So BRT spur line one and two, I'm gonna drop this one down to 20 as well. And this should really increase the speed of our BRT network because having all those buses on there just creates a lot of congestion, even if it is only buses. 
So then let's look at our local BRT line. So this has 26 buses and it does not look like it needs that many. I'm actually gonna drop this one down to 15. Yeah, there we go, that should be good. And then let's come in here. So what's our next busiest? So ooh, master plans, nice. So we actually, I was thinking this one was gonna be pretty busy because there's not access. And it looks like seven is actually pretty good. They're a little, they're not bunched up. They're providing good access. They're not full, but they're definitely getting people. And so I feel like that's pretty good right there. So I think we're gonna go ahead and leave that for both of them. And then, so Capital Loop too, this is one of the newer ones, so it hasn't really populated yet, but it does look like it's actually gonna be a little bit busier. Maybe we'll jump this one up to the Super Bendy buses. So we'll do Capital Loop 1 and Capital Loop 2 as the Super Bendy buses. Doesn't look like this one's as busy. Maybe just that one way. Yeah, we'll let these run for a minute and then we'll come back to them. And then bus line 11 and 12, what was this one? Ooh, it was that uh, Uptown. So we'll do Uptown Loop 1 and 2. Nice. And so let's look back at that. So six buses. It does look like some people are using them, which is great. Let's go ahead and bump this one up to the Super Bendy buses too, because I don't want to leave anybody at those stops. So we'll go like that. And then we are going to go to this one as well. Go to Super Bendy bus. Perfect. And so let's go ahead and let this run for a minute, because it looks like a lot of these just haven't fully populated yet. And so we will be back in just one second. Okay, so I let the game run for a bit and we should be good now. So let's go ahead and jump at, jump into our tram lines and see what we got going on. So let's sort by passengers. So it looks like Tech to Uni is our biggest one at 293. Let's see how many trams it's given us. So 17, I went ahead and upgraded all of our trams to this one that I got off the Steam Workshop, this Flexicity, Flexity Classic Ride Metrover really like them they got great details they look a lot better than the standard trams but then they also uh, provide a little more space too so like here's one right here they just look a lot better like look at the detail on the roof and stuff i think they're great looking trams and so let's jump into that tram that line again so tech to uni so it actually looks like they're pretty spaced out they're not super filled though so we could probably drop this one down just to save some money so if we go down to say 14, then that, that way it'll put a little bit of a bigger gap in between the trams so that they can get a little more filled. We might even be able to drop it down a little more than that because three is not a whole lot. Some of these, I mean, there's a lot of people and we don't want them waiting for a whole lot of time. So let's actually jump into that second one now. So it was Tech to Uni 2, so 17. This one's the same case. None of them are super filled. We're gonna drop this one down to 14 and then we're going to jump back into a different one. So sort by passengers. So it looks like this main to capital hub is actually pretty big too. And this is our, our main station to our capital district over here. And so let's see how many trams. So it looks like 19, 16 trams, and they're actually pretty full. None of them are empty. Actually, there's a couple that are low, but there's a lot of people, 97% car trip saved, which is fantastic. So it looks like we could probably drop this one down just to 15, 14. Yeah, we'll just drop it down by one. So we'll main to capital. It looks like Uptown Loop 1 is pretty popular. So these ones only got seven. I think seven's pretty good. I think we did have it much lower before. But this actually does loop through our downtown as well. So, you know, we'll keep that one at seven and let's move on. So Uptown Loop, main, main hub to airport one. Man, this has got 12. There's like no spacing in there at all. And none of them are super filled. Let's drop this down to eight. And then let's actually look at that second one too, because that was... Main to airport one, let's look at main to airport two. So 12 again, we're gonna drop this one down to eight as well. And this really helps you to uh, manage the budget within your city as well. Cause a lot of times if you just have too many vehicles, the, the city's literally just wasting money on, on vehicles when they're empty. So Celebration Park one and two look like they're both pretty popular and these have a ton of trams. 15, there's like no spacing in there though. They are pretty busy. So maybe you don't wanna drop it down too much. But I think if we go down to 12, that would be good because these are like right next to each other. There's no point in having them that having that many. We could probably even drop down to 10. It is 100% car trip saved though. Yeah, I think we'll actually drop this one down to 10. So that's just, they're right next to each other. So we'll go to 10 and then we're going to go back to Celebration Park 2 and switch this one down to 10 as well. Yeah, this one's the same. I'm pretty busy. Just the trams are right next to each other. They don't, that would just cause a lot of congestion. So we'll drop it down to 10 and then let's go on. So National Lab Loop. This one actually was a little bit busier before. So it's uh, not too busy. 18 trams is a lot. I think we're gonna drop this one down to 12 because we do have a Metro stop right there too. It's this one. We have the Metro right there. So this one basically loops around, comes up here, 
and then loops down there. And so it's kind of a redundant line, but it provides some access to this neighborhood. So I don't think we need that one at that many vehicles. Yeah, will we drop it down to 12? Yeah, that, that should be better. Just more spacing, less congestion. There's still a lot of trams in here. We may even drop this down to 10 because some of these stops have no people. Some of them have some, but just not enough. Maybe we'll actually drop this down to 10. So National Lab Loop, let's go back in there. So Midtown Loop 1 and 2, these are our main ones that go from the main hub in the middle of our city and kind of loop around right here. And these ones actually were the really busy lines before, but they have a ton of other access too. So I think 8's probably good. And then let's jump into the second one and see what it's given us. So eight as well. I mean, they are right next to each other, but I think um, that's a good, good distance between trams. So tech downtown one, this is just the loop that goes around this section. And so seven, I mean, seven seems like a lot, but they got some a pretty good spacing between them. There's not a lot of people at the stops though, but it, it does have 98% car trip saved. So I think maybe we'll keep this one at what it's at. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We can always come back and drop these down again. So then Tech Downtown 1, let's look at Tech Downtown 2. So 7, uh, same same deal. So I guess we'll just keep them there. They're busy. They're not super busy, but they're busy enough to where we don't want to drop down the trams too much. So this one's got 11 trams and it is not that big of a line. So Tourism Beach, this is the loop around this section down here. And it looks like the trams are just right on top of each other. We're going to drop this down to just try to get a little more spacing in there. So Tourism Beach 1, let's drop down to Tourism Beach 2. And let's do the same thing here. We're going to go down to eight and then let's move on. So tourism beach. So main hub to airport two. We already did that. We already did tech downtown two. So celebration hub to main hub. Man, this has got a ton. We're going to drop this down to seven. That's just way too many trams. It does have a hundred percent car trip saved and you can see some people are using it, but just not enough to warrant that many trams. So Tourism Beach 2, Uptown Loop 2. So 16, this is a lot. It's a lot of space, but I don't think, what did we drop the other one to? So Uptown Loop 1, I believe was one of our busier ones. So Uptown Loop 1, yeah, we dropped this down to seven. So we definitely don't need um, that many that many trams in there. So we're gonna come back in here, Uptown Loop 2. And this one for some reason does have a much more distance to go, but I think we're gonna drop this one down to 10. Yeah, just because, I mean, there's not a lot of people using it, and so there's really no point. I'm gonna go like that, come back down here, and Uptown Loop Tube. So Olympic Stadium one and two, these are both pretty busy lines. It only gave us five though. Um, whenever there's an event, it literally gets like 2,000 people waiting here. It's like really crazy. When we first built out the, the stadium, there was just so many people walking, and so whenever an event's going, this entire line will be filled with people and they'll be walking down here and it's just it becomes really crazy really fast let's see actually when our next when our next event is so 1 1 2101 so we just had one not too long ago so 119 so i mean it's still a little ways away um it's like eight months nine months so we've got a little bit of time and so now let's go ahead and look at our overall transit and see so I know we got rid of quite a bit of lines so now we're at 6,000 per week residents and 3,000 tourism so we're not too much more than what we were doing, but I know we have quite a quite a few less lines. And so if we jump in here to our economics tab, and I, I kind of wish I would have hovered over this before because our airport really uh, skews this a lot. So we have 1,700 in buses and then 2,000 in trams and 7,000, 6,800 in metro, which really isn't that much. I mean, we, we really upped our ridership quite a bit. Like, uh, we definitely saved a lot of money on this. I think it was a really good addition. We got rid of a lot of those lines that went from hub to hub. And so now people are just dependent with on the BRT or the Metro system. And so I think it's a really good addition. This is definitely something where I, uh, you know, building out a city, it's tough to think about these things when you start out, but as you get later into, into the game, it's a little bit easier to just kind of go back and, uh, and delete everything and just start over again and optimize your lines a bit. And so now I think the system works a lot better. And there are some BRT lines that are super busy too, which is really cool to see. Like this one back here is just slammed. Like you can see all these people waiting, all these people coming up. Like this is just so cool to see. It really provides some awesome access too. Let's come in here and see. So it looks like a couple people are using this one. Let's come back here to our uh, one that we created right here. So is there anybody using this one? So a couple people, I mean, not a lot, but this is definitely like a transfer line. Like anybody who's coming in here. It does look like we messed up one of our roads over here though. So let's come in here and then connect that up. Perfect, nice. So let's come over here and check this one out. Ooh, this one's actually pretty busy. 
I wonder if people are taking the spur route more or if they're taking the main route more. But this one's a little busy. It's not slammed, but you can see a lot of people just got off, which is fantastic. And so let's come up here now. Let's go to our little transit hub that we made in here. So we got a couple people on the tram side, a couple people on the bus side, which is great. I went ahead and put in these crossings too, so that people would be able to transfer between the lines if they needed to. And so this is actually an easy way for people to get on the BRT from the main hub as well, since there's a tram that comes up here and stops right there. And so now they can just kind of transfer over super easily. And then let's come over here and let's go into our downtown and see if any of these are busy. Before these ones really weren't that busy. And so, I mean, this one's not super busy, but there's some people waiting there, which is great. Let's come over here. Ooh, it looks like we got some sort of issues happening here. Let's jump in there and see. So it's kind of having pathfinding issues with the bus lines for some weird reason. So it shows the blue line not running, but it just ran around. Let's see if anybody's waiting over here. Because it says the white line's got problems too. I mean, some people are over here. I don't really anticipate this one to be super busy, but sometimes it is all right so i think this was definitely a success we uh, still have a lot of people using our trams i definitely think this isn't as busy as it was before we're, we're funneling more people into the metro which you can kind of see just how many people are using these systems i think we have a couple lines in here that are just insanely busy like this station and then when we come back here i believe this station is just slammed all the time yeah i mean there's it's definitely not as busy as i thought it was going to be but it is pretty busy so let's look over here as well, look in here, see how many people are coming into the city. So this one's actually pretty busy. Yeah, that, that's great. And then let's look at our new one too, since the city just invested in this. Oh, there's actually people up here. Now, it seemed like quite a few people coming off. I wonder if people are getting off and then using the tram lines or if they're just walking over into the labs. So let's come over here. Oh man, this one's got a ton of people. Look at all those people that just got off. And this one provides access to this hub, but then also to this huge downtown area. And so anybody who's maybe working in one of the IT cluster buildings, they could take this metro and get there pretty easily without having to drive, which is really what we're trying to do here. This one's pretty busy. And this one's got access to the BRT off the backside too, which is great. We did a little tunnel connecting it to the metro so people can kind of walk back and forth. And it does look like quite a few people are coming over here to hop on this, which is great because this one actually provides access to our main line. And then down here, which I'm not really sure if anybody's using a lot of these ones. These are more like residential lines than anything else. I mean, it looks like a couple people. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Go ahead and let me know if you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything. Um, I think this was definitely a success for the city. We are saving a little bit of money. Um, not a ton, but we got rid of a lot of those redundant lines that we, we didn't really need. And so um, I think it was good. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday.